has um, alopecia, the situation where the front of the hair is, is totally wearing gone. off. You know, I had a discussion with you earlier on. I was, you know, and I heard you saying that some people's hair, you know, some people feel that their hair is so bad. They can't, they don't even know where to start from and they don't want to cut their hair. So it's actually possible to regrow your hair from wherever it is without even necessarily cutting yes, it. Yes. You can yeah. actually grow your hair back. That's yes, interesting. You know, beautiful to know because that is good news for me and good news for, er for everyone group, yes. out there you know because the hair do is not extinct the hair is alive but is alive under the root sheets yeah that you're not seeing it here doesn't mean that it doesn't exist yeah but there's something you need to do to bring it out first of all eat the right meal so with your food the affects your hair it affects well. your hair you know so eat the necessary nutrients and then understand that there are phases of hair growth there is the anagen stage. The yes. anagen stage, you know, takes a period of close to four to five years or six years. And that is where the hair is in its fastest growing stage. That's probably when you're a child. No, even, not even when you're a child because there are phases, you know. Okay, These so phases you is like hair. a circle, yeah. So, it, it, of course, if you cut your hair, you see it grow back. It's not, you know, extinct. You see yes. the hair grow back. It doesn't matter how low the hair goes. It can still grow back. You can still bring it up. But the, the challenge people have is how to maintain that beautiful hair that just grew and to take it to the level of probably where my own is or longer or maybe to the back length or to the shoulder length. Seriously? You're smiling because <laughs> you say, oh, you mean I cannot have my hair at the shoulder length? <laughs> yes. Interestingly, I have a client, you know, I have some clients who never knew their hair could exceed the neck length, but now they have it on the shoulder length. We're going to have some pictures of that. Oh, yes, we're going to have some pictures of that. You need wow. to see some pictures of that. And people actually African go women. like... African women. And people go like, is this her okay. hair? Wow. Or is this weave-on? You know, I feel very... Um, permitted to use the word Proud. sorry, you know, for people sorry. who wear such, you know, heavy weave-ons on their hair, and then the hair is not breathing, the hair needs air, the hair needs protein, the hair needs calcium. The hair and needs, it just hide it. And that is hidden. That was quite enlightening. Thank now you. Now I want to bust one hair myth. I was told, and a lot of us as well, you know, that shea butter, that the use of shea butter on your hair can actually grow your hair. But you have a different opinion. Oh yes, I have a different opinion. It is like telling me the use of crude oil in my car can actually make my car ride faster. I think it's going to destroy my engine. You know, yeah. the crude, crude oil is processed to different levels, to different phases, which we have um, the kerosene from, we have the petrol from that we use for our car. We also have gas from the crude oil. You know, it's the same crude. Now, take Shea butter that, is that crude? Yeah, shea butter yeah. is that crude because it's too raw. It's raw, it's natural, it's raw. I know that some products will tell you 100% natu uh, natural, but that 100% natural actually went through a biological process. Remember that the hair has its own chemical content. So it went through a biological process. What the shea butter does for your hair is that it makes the hair limp. It, rem it, uh, it removes the life and affects the protein content in the cortex of the hair. That's amazing information. Yes. Because I know I, we I, have been told I know otherwise. a lot of people who use it. Even my sister, you know, my sister who lives outside this country, actually calls to demand for shea butter that is selling so well. They use it on their skin. You know, it actually makes your complexion darker. It seals up. It's too heavy. It's too raw. It's too thick. It needs to go through. There are products. Some of the products that we have here, they have shea butter content. But it's not all raw. Not all raw. So there that's are the most other, Yes, thing. there are other active ingredients. Exactly. There are other active ingredients that you mix with shea butter. You know, it has to go through a biological process. Because the scientists or the lab scientists or the trichologists out there, they are in the lab to help us get the best. Out of shea butter. So it's not raw. It's not <laughs> shea butter. As in no. Way. If I use shea butter for my hair, you wouldn't even see it. You just see it gum to my scalp and... It will still, still look fine, but that is not, is not real. You can't see it in this trance. But your hair does look lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank and I you. want your hair to look the same. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. Thank you. That was really enlightening. Now we're going to go on a break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.